This is the Cadence Adaptive Shoe for foot drop and walking difficulties. Today, I'll share my honest opinion as a therapist, and Clive, Post Strokes Board President and Stroke Survivor himself, is gonna share his opinion too. Let's get into it. Foot drop occurs in around 20 to 30% of survivors, and it's one of the primary reasons that people have trouble walking after a stroke. It can require many different types of treatment, ranging from AFOs, e-stem devices, Botox injections, exercises, etc. But the Cadence Adaptive Shoe is truly the first of its kind. But before I get too deep into this review, let me be completely transparent. Cadence sent both Clive and I a free pair of shoes to try out, and they are compensating me for this video. However, they did not get to see this video before I released it. I have complete control over all of the content in it, and Clive and I are sharing our true, honest opinions with you. So with that said, who is Cadence? Well, the Cadence shoe is the brainchild of Dr. Tyler Susco, who has a PhD in mechanical engineering from MIT and also teaches engineering courses at UC Santa Barbara. He was inspired to create the Cadence shoe based on another one of his creations, the MIT Skywalker, which is a split belt treadmill designed to help improve walking therapy for stroke survivors. Importantly, the NIH, or the National Institutes of Health here in the United States, just funded a four-year study to evaluate the effectiveness of training with Cadence shoes at the renowned Shirley Ryan Ability Lab in Chicago. That is a huge deal. Cadence shoes are so different because they're engineered to make walking both easier and safer, but also to improve foot drop in certain populations using a patented variable friction technology. Who are Cadence shoes for? They're for anyone with walking difficulties or foot drop, which of course includes some stroke survivors, but they're also good for people with other neurological conditions that cause foot drop, foot dragging, or shuffling gait. And that might include people with multiple sclerosis, cerebral palsy, neuropathy, or Parkinson's disease. How do Cadence shoes work? Well, like I mentioned, they've got variable friction technology. And I think the best way to explain this to you is just to show you. So I've got my shoe here. On the bottom of the shoe, there are these two elevated pucks. They're made out of nylon and they are low friction, meaning that when you're stepping, they allow your foot to glide over surfaces rather than getting caught like they would with a high friction sole of a normal shoe. However, they also have this rocker here that's made out of ultra low density foam so that as you're putting pressure down through the ball of your foot, those elevated pucks compress into the shoe and allow you to access and activate the high friction friction rubber that's here in the middle of the shoe. This activation of the high friction area allows you to push off with your toe. Unique design features. In addition to the variable friction technology, there are several different unique design features that I think are really helpful for stroke survivors. And the first is that you can absolutely put these on one-handed. They have got a Velcro closure that is adjustable and there's actually this little loop that you can do it with just one finger, which I think is a really nice little touch. But I think what's also nice is the Velcro closure doesn't look like diabetic shoes or a traditional adaptive shoe. Like it actually looks nice and well-styled. They also have these elastic stretchy laces here. So of course you're never gonna have to tie them, but they also accommodate and adjust for any changes that you might have in swelling of your foot. They also have extra depth and a wide toe box to accommodate for any swelling and orthotics. And I just mentioned orthotics. Some of you may be wondering, okay, can I wear my AFO with this shoe? And the answer is, Maybe. They are wider and they do come in regular and wide sizes. We know that there are lots of different types of AFOs on the market, so depending on which one that you have, if you have a lot of swelling, it may or may not fit. But because of the generous width, as well as the removable um, cushioned insoles, you may be able to fit your AFO in here. The Cadence original adaptive shoe as a stroke survivor with right-sided weakness and little turnage to my uh, right hand They've been proven to really easy to get on. The Velcro strap makes them really easy, no laces. And the tongue is very movable and has an elastic strap on the inside so you can pull the tongue back up. You do up the Velcro strap and away you go. Out on the street, I noticed it did help my foot drop. 
when my foot did drop, it didn't drag like normal, it just slid along the concrete, which was really good and easy, something easy to get used to. Let me talk about from a therapist perspective, what I think is great about these shoes. They look great. Like they just look like a great athletic shoe. There's nothing about them that makes them super stand out when you're wearing them, which is so nice because as someone who has to recommend a lot of medical equipment and for anybody who's had to use a lot of medical equipment, it's usually ugly, it's not cute. So when you can actually find something that's really stylish, that just looks normal, um, but also gives you the adaptation that you might need, like that's a huge win in my book. Another great thing is the functionality of these shoes. So of course I mentioned they absolutely help you to compensate if you have foot drop, meaning those low friction pucks help you to glide over surfaces rather than drag your toe. But the thing is, they also have the potential to help you actually improve your foot drop. And let me explain how. They have this sort of unintentional biofeedback mechanism. So as you might go and glide your foot, those low friction pucks make this scraping kind of tapping sound. And what they found is that that biofeedback mechanism, hearing that scraping sound as you're stepping means that, hey, I'm dragging my toe. And what you can do with that is practice picking up your toe so that when you don't hear that scraping and tapping, you know you're stepping correctly and not dragging your foot. These shoes are also built to last. Under normal wearing conditions, they should last for about twice as long as a normal pair of shoes. I also think it's important to point out that they do offer a warranty. So they offer a 90 day warranty to cover any manufacturer defects that might be present, but they also offer a 30 day warranty for you to try out and see if they're right for you. The only thing they ask is that you wear them over soft and carpeted surfaces, just to make sure that you don't mar up the shoes in case you decide they're not for you. They do offer free shipping to the lower 48 states, and they do ship currently to the United States and Canada. However, they are expanding to the UK and most EU countries in 2025. The shoes come in a wide range of sizes with women's ranging from five to 12 and men's ranging from eight to 14. They do have some half sizes and you can either get regular or wide. One of the things I think makes Cadence really special is that they offer support after you purchase their shoes. You get um, a series of emails and it goes over how to use the shoe most effectively, how to get used to them. They also have videos on their YouTube channel, which go over some of those things as well. A couple of things I found when I first got the shoes were, they were very slippery. So I would suggest walking on carpet or indoors until you get used to that slippery feeling. Once you're outside, it all depends on the surface you're on. If you're on concrete, you'll find they'll slip. If it's wet, they get even more slippery. Then walking from outside to inside, say a shopping center where the floor is tiled, if they're wet, it's quite dangerous. You need to make sure you dry the shoes properly. So there are some safety considerations you need to keep in mind. There is an adjustment period for some people. They have these low friction pucks, like I've mentioned, but because they are low friction, they may be or feel a little bit slippery to you. Start out wearing them on carpeted or you know a surface with a rug uh, before you go out on hardwood or before you go outside. The second thing to consider is you may or may not want to drive in them. For some people, they may adjust and it may be perfectly fine. They feel safe to do so, they have good control. For others, that slick low friction puck area may slip and slide on the gas and the brake pedal and you may not feel safe enough to do that. So it may be one of those things where if you are driving, you know, having an extra pair of shoes in your car just may be a little tedious if you need to change your pair of shoes when you go out. The last thing to consider is that the shoes cost around 200 US dollars which is not nothing. That may be far too costly for some people. They do offer 0% financing options and you can use your HSA or FSA to pay for them. And also if you are looking to get $10 off of a $100 order or more, you can use the code POSTROKE when you check out to get that $10 off. What's the takeaway? In my personal, honest opinion as a therapist, I definitely think that Cadence Adaptive Shoes are worth it. They're extremely well-made, they're 
actually stylish and they're really innovative. They have the ability to make walking safer and help you be more independent with walking if you do experience foot drop after a stroke. They also have the potential to help you improve your foot drop in your home rehab program. Now, I do recognize there may be a time period where it's gonna take you a while to get used to them. And that price point may be a sticking piece for you, but recognize that there are some options there if this is something that you think is right for you. Leave me a comment and let me know, have you tried Cadence Shoes for foot drop? If so, what did you think about them? Links in the description to all of the resources I talked about today, as well as ways that you can help support post-stroke. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.